made it to the small town of Tolene. T O L H U I N. I'm gonna come down here and see what's going on in this little town before we head just a little bit south of here where we're gonna camp. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're hoping we can find somewhere to eat. We shall see. So, mayonnaise of sofa. Right, they've just brought us out piping hot soup, bread, and something else. Kabecha is what they call it. And I think this is the stuff that we've seen, like a marinated, and this looks like maybe some kind of squash, onions, peppers. Not sure, but I'm definitely going to try some. So we'll see what it is. Let's do it right now. It looks kind of crazy. Like, I don't know what's in it. It's like cooked vegetables, cold, and then there's like olive oil and a light vinaigrette. So kind of like pickled vegetables, if you will. Is it good? Really good. It's kind of nice to be rural enough that the food is kind of more authentic and rural and... It's just local food. It's yeah. just local food. And Basical. the accents here, our Spanish is interpreted as English. And their Spanish is what I would call extreme Spanish. <laughs> so there's no struggling through, but it is good. And she is nice and sweet. And it is warm soup, which is good because it's starting to get cool down here. Cool, definitely in the cooler temperatures. All right, the waitress here has been really sweet. We've been having some fun trying to communicate back and forth. And she just brought snow, this little treat. It's called M-E-L-E -E is how she spelled it. It doesn't translate. What is it, Snow? It's an egg with, I think, cheese inside. Like an omelet. Yeah. Egg and cheese omelet. With no salt. No she salt. She brought me something with no salt because she knew we were struggling. That is really kind. So. I don't normally eat egg, but I'm going to eat some of this one because it's special. <laughs> mm. All right, buddy. You got the door open. And the first thing me and Kurt both did is we both hopped out. We didn't tell each other what we were doing. And we both came back with a big batch of grass for G. So he's a happy kitty with two different grass choices and a view of some green grass and green trees and what y'all haven't seen just beyond those trees yet is we're just right there by a lake and a beaver dam all right coming down the road headed straight to our van a teeny tiny little fox I mean, I just looked up and there he was. Oh, he's gonna come right over here. I gotta whisper. There he comes. There he is. He's a baby for sure. have a screen door <laughs> keep the kitty cats in when we get wildlife this close to the van what a peaceful campsite this has been it's gonna be one of those that when we have to pull out of here I'm gonna not want to go I'm gonna want to stay here it's been a while since we've just been in the nature like this and even though we're right next to the road, very few cars go by. But we can't stay here forever. We'll run out of food and water. Plus, we got to get to Ushuaia and uh, get to the end of the road down here. 
So we got stuff we got to do. Places we got to be. But for now, <laughs> we're right here. Let's climb a little hill, guys. The moss on these trees is so cool. It looks like hair growing out of the trees. And one thing that's cool about being way out in nature like this and away from other campers and a lot of people is on editing days, we call them family days, where we're just lazy and in the van. I don't even have to get out of my pajamas. Not even to take a walk. Just throw a fleece on and go outside of my pajamas. It's perfect. <laughs> from a distance. I could see his cute little flat tail. Hopefully you guys can see it too. Oh, he's cute. I am super excited. I don't know if you can see, but over there, across this little laguna, this little lake, up there on the hill is snow. And so earlier I told her there were some parrots up here in these trees, and we've been seeing some beavers. And so she, it looks like, has got the camera, is up over there trying to spot something. And me and G saw her, we were walking up on the hill on the other side. But I'm excited because this is the first time we've really gotten out in the nature since we left Buenos Aires. Sure, we've been on the coast and stuff like that. But this is a nice quiet place with big trees and grass. And the kitties just love an area like this. We have a really nice spot tucked in away out of the wind and we can look out our windows and we can see these little marshes or lagoons with the different ducks and birds and the beavers possibly even an otter we've even had a couple fox come by the van and there's also these cool trees we saw driving on the way in and these trees, they're old and almost kind of look haunted. A lot of them kind of have a lot of dead parts on them, but are still alive. But that's part of what makes them look a little bit haunted or spooky. And then they have this very pale green, maybe almost even kind of white moss hanging all over them. And so they're really cool, especially the different times of the day when the light comes in and you get the reflections off the lake but I really believe this place is more than just you know about the water and the nature it's just about the total package it's just so relaxing looks like this is a little path right here where the beavers come in and out of the water <laughs> We're sneaking up on snow. I think she heard us. Look at this beautiful view, guys. Wow.
I have gotten a lot of footage of... There he is. Right there. No. See his big wave? yesterday and then he went under. little bit gross or morbid but I'm walking through and I see this little skeleton and I'm like what is that and then I saw those giant beaver teeth and you can see his teeth and his mandible and you can see how giant his teeth are and wow. they're yellow on the front like almost brown like stained and he has a very unique here, jaw here. structure. Look, look at them compared to my finger, how big they are. Wow. Moving around again because I think I... Wow. That is cray cray. So we're all just sitting here, minding our own business. Editing, napping, totally chilling out. And we look out the door because the kitties definitely alerted us what was outside. There was a little baby fox. And he was out there just kind of strolling around. And G was up in the bed with me. He could look down and see it. Vanna could look down and see it. 
and they were both excited. It was like they were saying, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Look, what is that? It was so cool, and their excitement. Wow, what a neat experience. Well, and that little fox was stinking cute, wasn't he? Was he so tiny and fluffy. What are you doing? Much, much needed lazy day here in the van. This campsite is the perfect place for us to just chill, edit, relax, not have to worry about going anywhere. The weather is cool and crisp. It's late afternoon and I'm fixing to have a chai tea and we've got nowhere to be. And it is perfect. We've been going pretty hard and we needed this. One thing about walking cats on leash, you need to learn or you're not gonna be very good at it. You don't walk the kitties, the kitties walk you. And uh, <laughs> what's super cool is each of our two cats have different personalities. So it's fun to walk them and watch kind of how they respond to the different environments. And I can tell you, they both love this place. Clearly there's lots of smells of nature, meaning birds, little, rodents i'm sure although i don't see any but g was just out chasing some birds vanna she was climbing trees and climbing rocks well climbing trees but anyway beautiful little forest time to go back inside and make some breakfast <laughs> Anna is having a wild time this morning, trying to climb Call trees, climb all over these trees, pulling Call at the leaves. Out, She's a don't happy you girl. She loves it here. Come on. Lift me up higher above the clouds. Come on. No. No, you got to come down. You shouldn't have gone up that far. When the scenery. Your claws don't work so good that way, do they? I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging just because I'm too proud. Whisper away my outdated doubts. Somebody do me the courtesy. Dress me down. That old yet I'm far too young to not stand my ground. But my ways are mine and I don't want to change. Not even for love. Now take back. Earlier today, when G Money took me for a walk, we spotted some angelic woodpeckers. 
Now, I want to tell you a bit about these because unlike the fox and the beaver, the Magellanic woodpeckers are native and only found in Patagonia in southern Argentina and Chile. And I've noticed that these are indeed, as you will see and hear, ferocious and determined peckers. Now, these are the largest woodpeckers in South America and amongst the largest in the world at about 18 inches tall. You'll also notice that they're very jattery even while tearing into the tree in search of bugs and grubs. The male has a red head and a red crest. He's black with white streaks down his wing and he has a gray beak. The female is all black with a bit of red around her gray beak and a cool Dr. Seuss curly cue on top of her head. Now, let's watch and listen. Good morning from our tiny little cozy house on wheels. We woke up this morning at what is definitely our favorite campsite so far in Argentina. To 42 degrees outside. Don't worry. Our van was keeping us cozy, but we did crank the heater as soon as we woke up. Made us some coffee. And now... We got to get ready because it's finally time to leave this place, isn't it, Kurt? Time to go. This has been a much needed stop. Place in the nature to just chill and enjoy. The cats love this place and got some great walks. But we need some supplies and we need to get to the southern tip. The end of the world. The end of the world. Fin del mundo. <laughs> in Ushuaia. But you'll see that in the next video. So, G. Tell them. Tell them we'll see them in a few days. Cheers. Cheers, guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys. <laughs>